I also have questions for Avalanche defenseman Kale McCarr. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Kale, how are you doing? Good. Good. Um, what were just your overall reflections of, of how you guys played as a team in the first two periods and then in the last period? Yeah, no, I think um, our tempo was uh, was high in the first two, and I think it was still high in the third. We just had a few defensive breakdowns that uh, obviously cost us, and um, those will be things that we will be tightening up in these next 20. But um, overall, I think I like to compete tonight uh, of our team. It's just uh, we definitely can't give those up at the end there. You're in again, Peter. Go ahead. What have you thought of uh, your new teammates? Oh, yeah, they've been awesome. Uh, great dudes, and um Mance is obviously they're both learning systems but Mance on the back end has, has done a great job just starting to um kind of play the way the way we play and you know he's a good puck mover and then uh, he's also good down low too so um no he's uh he's coming around and then obviously Sturmy tonight I think somebody was saying he's 85 percent on draws so um definitely a definitely a big step up for us and um uh, definitely uh he, he's a he's a hard guy to play against and um that's definitely a going to be a key for us uh, moving forward Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey Now. The next time you play, the trading deadline will be passed. Has all of this been a weight on shoulders? Uh, will it be a relief to have it? Uh, um, your, sorry, I don't know if I heard the last part of your question there. But, yeah, I mean, um, obviously, it's every single year you go through the same process of the trade deadline. And um, the unfortunate part of the business is sometimes you lose friends. And um, we lost a good one at Josty, But at the end of the day, uh, we're trying to make moves in order to um, what we think will improve our team. So um, that's that's the way the business goes. But I think for us, we know um, the things that we have to do well. Um, it's just now we get to the fortunate part of maybe adding a few pieces that uh, put the icing on, on the cake. Last one here on Zoom, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, what, can you just walk me through it? You saw on your goal. Yeah, um, great pass. I'm not, I can't remember who it was from up top there, Taser or, or, or Nate, but um, great pass. And I was, uh, I was trying to shoot for the far side and, um, then the guy got a sticker or skate on it, bounced right back to me. And I just kind of, I threw it right back at the neck. So I didn't know if the goalie saw it. So um, definitely a lucky one, but um, we'll take uh, take anyone how they come. So thank you, Jeff. Thanks, thank you, Jeff. Can you guys unmute over there? Thanks. We'll take questions for Avalanche head coach Jared Bednar, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Jared, uh, what were just your overall reflections on on how you guys played tonight? I, I liked their first 40 minutes. I thought we played really well in the first period. Um, and when we were five on five in the second period, I liked it too. But uh, I mean, I think we had three kills in the second period. A difference in the hockey game for me, when it's all said and done, I thought our penalty kill did a nice job and um, power play went one for one. So, I mean, I think the special teams was huge. and wasn't a, uh, It was an area that I was a little bit worried about. They've been running pretty hot on both special teams. We ended up winning that battle. and um, But third period just looks like we let off the gas a little bit. They had a good push and ended up being closer than, than uh, what I'd you know, previously liked. Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey Now. How'd you like what you saw out of Nico Stern? I thought he was good. Solid, as advertised, you know, good checking, liked this penalty kill. Um, hard, you know, he's he's solid, physical guy, skates pretty well. He was great on the draws tonight, but that's a big improvement for us. Um, helps out in a lot of those little ways, especially on the defensive side of things. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. You mentioned uh, the need to kill a lot of penalties. Was were the were the officials just maybe a little more calling a little more than usual, or were there specific things that you felt the team was doing that was leading to those penalties? No, I didn't. I didn't think. I mean, I mean, we took a couple off the rush. They drove us hard. We got our sticks tangled up in some guys' feet. We got one called for a hook that. I, I didn't really see, you know, so they were all sort of stick penalties, but I thought we were skating pretty well and, and, and checking pretty well uh, for 40 minutes anyway. And that's when we were getting called for those penalties. So um, I think it was just the way the game was going, you know, we had a lead and 
they were, weren't going to give us any breaks on, on any of the stick penalties and we, you know, we shouldn't expect them. And, um, you know, so penalty kill steps up. I thought they did a great job for us tonight and a big help for us getting the win. Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey Now. With so much going on during this trip, your reflections on the performance of the team and on the trip. We got the job done. You know, it wasn't perfect at all times, but I thought we played pretty hard in both games. And, you know, I didn't love the finish tonight, so that's what's kind of sitting with me. But you got to give San Jose some credit too. They got a good, they got some good players and we keep putting them on the ice in the power play and six on five, and eventually they're going to make something happen. They started throwing the puck to the net from everywhere, which was, uh, wasn't easy in the third period. And they were winning the races for the retrievals, but for the most part in the game, I liked what we were doing. So, I mean, to come out on the road and busy week and, you know, trade deadline coming up and guys' minds can wander, it's nice to come out and get two wins over California. Last one here, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Your team is uh, just a lot of centers, like the whole third line is natural centers. When everyone is healthy, if everyone's able to get healthy, do you envision Sturm playing center or wing, or do you have a preference there? He'll play center. All right. Thank you, Jared. All right. Thanks.